hello this is dr ashwini and today we will see the next menstrual disorder that is amenorrhea so in this video we will see what is amenorrhea its types and homeopathic remedies related to amenorrhea so amenorrhea is nothing but the absence of menses it is of two types primary as well as secondary in primary amenorrhea there is no history of menstruation up to the 15 years of age then secondary amenorrhea is uh, when the woman gets her first menstruation and later that she does not get periods up to 3 months or more than 3 months so that is secondary amenorrhea now we will see the homeopathic remedies related to amenorrhea so firstly we will see agnus cactus so there is obesity with hypogonadism may manifest the primary amenorrhea Here menses are suppressed with violent and contracting pain in the lower abdomen. There is low sexual vitality as patient is sexually melancholic, and there is relaxation of genitalia and leucorrhea. Mentally, the patient is melancholic as far as the sex is concerned, and she lost interest in sex as she is always depressed and nervous. So this was all about the amenorrhea of Agnus cactus. Now we will see the amenorrhea of Lycopodium. In lycopodium there is suppression of menses due to the fright then sadness which develops anorexia nervosa in this there is amenorrhea as a result of psychosomatic trauma manifested by morbidly being afraid of something amenorrhea may be secondary to disease of central nervous system as meningitis epilepsy etc the menses are too late lasts too long and too profuse and the vagina is so much dry as it causes the coitus painful mentally the patient is melancholic and afraid to be alone so this was all about the lycopodia now we will see amenorrhea of pulsatilla the amenorrhea of pulsatilla is due to getting fit weight then nervous debility or chlorosis corticomedial development results into too late scanty then dark and thicknesses There is menarche in chlorotic girls as well as dysphagia instead of menses. There is so much changeability of symptoms in pulsatilla patient. Mentally patient has whipping disposition and consolation amelorrhoids are complaints. So this was about pulsatilla. Now we will see the amenorrhea of sinusifuga. So amenorrhea is due to ovarian disorders such as PCOD, then obesity, and hirsutism. Also, amenorrhea due to congenital adrenal hyperplasia, which shows precocious virulism. And there is irritation in ovaries due to ovarian disorders. Mentally, patient is disturbed with sensation as if the clouds has enveloped her head. She is a hysterical woman with puerperal mania where there is psychological amenorrhea. So this was about sinusifuga. Now we will see the amenorrhea of sepia. In sepia, the amenorrhea is due to relaxed pelvic organs. There is barren down sensation as if everything would escape through the vulva, thus crosses the leg to avoid the protrusion or has to press against the vulva. There is male type of pelvis and gonadal dysfunction with stereotype of masculine look. Mentally patient is hysterical and indifferent. She has no more affection for the one whom she loved the best, and she cannot control her tears while narrating the complaints. Also, consolation aggravates her complaints. So this was about the sepia. Now we will see the amenorrhea of natremur. The natremur menses are suppressed due to prolonged consumption of excessive salt. Here the menses are suppressed due to severe anemia and debility. There is prolapse of urogenital dysfunction and system of the uterus. Mentally, the patient is frightful and angry, and here the amenorrhea is due to ill effects of the grapes, and her complaints aggravates after consolation. Now, lastly, we will see the amenorrhea of senescio oris. Patients mostly are young girls where functional amenorrhea is observed. The causative factors are malnutrition and hormonal imbalance. Thus, in such cases, the basic fundamental cause has to be removed or to be treated as to start the menses. This particular patient has anemia with malabsorption, and this remedy acts well where there is inflammation of genital organs with amenorrhea.
Mentally, the patient is timid, worried, and nervous, and cannot fix her mind at one place. This was all about the amenorrhea of different homeopathic remedies. Stay tuned for more menstrual disorders. Thank you.